Well, hello, FPV enthusiasts. We just got two cameras in from RunCam. And we've got one of each kind that they have on their website. John's doing a little running in place to uh, show off the RunCam logos here. Oh. So, oh, where'd he go? Well, what's that doing up there? Good <laughs> golly. Well, anyway, there they are. Now one is a PZ0420H. Which one is that, John? Show them the box. That's it. So that's the PZ0420H. And it's a CCD 600 TV line camera. It's a Sony. And it's pretty good for light sensitivity. You know, low lux. It works good at night, according to what my buddies told me. And it comes with an IR filter that you can install if you want. It comes in the box. We'll show you that later. Now the other one here is the Sky model. And it's a 650 TV line camera, also from Sony. Now these both have 2.8 millimeter lenses, but that's up to you when you select it on the, web, on the website. You can select different lenses. But there they are. And we're going to go ahead and take them to the bench. So let's head to the bench. So RunCam has customized these cameras just for FPV. And this is the Sky camera over here. And this is the PZ-0420H here. And they even have a little picture of an FPV pilot in a plane here. And they have a little paragraph here that says, uh, what is FPV? First person view, FPV, also known as remote person view, RPV, or video piloting, is a method used to control a radio control RC aircraft from the pilot's viewpoint. So they put a nice little message on the back of the box there. Now the cameras come nicely packaged in a little box here. There's a little foam pad that holds the camera in. When you get it, you'll see that foam. And then there's another little cardboard container underneath. And there's a bag under there and a camera mount, which you may or may not use. Now we also get these cables right here. And I like this feature about RunCam because they're actually thinking about FPV and this is one of the customizations they did. You get a special camera I mean special camera cable just for FPV. It's got the camera Molex connector there and then a pin here that has the voltage wires on it separate from the video cable right here. So that's handy for hooking up your FPV gear. And then the menu button is now separated from the uh, video cable here, the closed circuit television video cable which you probably won't even be using unless you're on the bench just setting up menus but they are separate they only they have their own separate Molex connectors that go on the back here these two connectors and if you did want to put the menu thing on your plane you could because now it's kind of a stub it's much shorter than it was before and it's not combined with a closed circuit television jack so it's a separate piece which you could connect up and just mount that on your plane so you could do the menus and just leave it right on your aircraft if you wanted to. So I, I think they've thought this out pretty carefully and decided to add those features just to make it easy for installation. So you get all that plus this particular camera, I don't think the other one does, but this particular camera comes with the parts necessary to install an IR filter. And the IR filter is right here. Uh, if you hold it a certain way, it'll usually look either red or green, depending on how you're looking at it. But um, it filters out IR. And that can be installed, and there's uh, directions on the web about how to do that and uh, get that installed if you want it. This camera, from what I've heard from my friends, is amazing. I mean, it has such a low lux that you can actually see at night with it. Uh, it looks dark to the naked eye, but with this, it looks like you're actually uh, in daylight. So it, it's a cool camera. And uh, I think as far as the size goes, it's similar to the other board cameras. I'm just holding up to the one on my Skywalker, and you can kind of see if... Uh, 
it's actually a little smaller because this one has this little rim around it. If that rim was broken off, it would probably be about the same size. And it's light, very light. This is a plastic case. Uh, looks nice to me. I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be really good, easy to mount. All right, so the Sky Camera is packaged similar to the other one. Oop, I just popped cap. off the lens cap, but there's the camera. Same foam contraption. And same little box with the parts. There's my lens cap. I think I mentioned earlier in the introduction that these are 2.8 millimeter lenses for wide angle, but you can select, I think, a 3.6 or whatever else you would want to choose on the website when you order it. Interesting, they only just really have these two cameras on the Runcam website. And so you just look for the Runcam Sky and just order that one. Each of these cameras comes with this little card, information card. It has a, it has a chart about the specifications and the dimensions and things and how to hook up the camera. Uh, so in the, with this one, you get basically the same cables now I didn't mention the price but I think they were around forty dollars a piece something like that so basically we got the same cables we got a little couple little decals here too I didn't notice that in the other package but I've got a decal probably for each camera there put run cam on your plane and so we got the same little FPV hookup cable here. And we have the same setup with the closed circuit television cable and the menu cable right here. So pretty much the same thing as far as that goes. This camera is much smaller as you can see. And surprisingly enough, even though it's like in an aluminum case with metal and it has this bracket still on it, it actually doesn't weigh any more from what I can tell. It feels about the same weight. So I don't think weight will really be an issue. This would be, be really nice for a small uh, multi-rotor. Like if you had a mini quad or something, that would probably fit inside the frame really nicely. This one would probably be uh, better for a larger plane. Okay, so I don't see anything about the weight on the print here. I do see there's the dimensions. It says 26 millimeters by 26 millimeters. That's for the sky camera right here. And uh, it also has the lux, which is 0.01 lux. That's on this one, the sky camera. Um, so anyway, the specifications look good. I, I noticed the main difference was that the sky camera was 650 TV lines and then the PZ0420H was uh, 600 TV lines. Okay, let's just weigh them on the scale and see how much they do weigh. I got the gram scale zeroed right now. Alright, let's start out with the plastic one here, the PZ0420H. And it weighs 19 grams. Now, let's put this aluminum one on and see how much it weighs. Take this off, go into zero, put this on. 17 grams. That's amazing that the metal one actually weighs less than the plastic one. That's a surprise to me. So the Sky Camera is lighter. Of course, some of you, if you got eagle eyes, may have noticed that I left the lens cap off. I don't know how much difference that's going to make. Put it back on there. Of course, you're not going to fly with a lens cap, but it still weighs 17 grams. So Now, neither one of them have the bracket on. I don't have the bracket on this one. I don't have the bracket on that one because I don't plan on using them anyway. But just wanted to show you what the cameras weigh. So that's 17 for the sky and... 19 for the 420. So the way we're going to test these on the bench is I'm going to get the 12 volts from a power adapter I plugged in the wall and I'm going to send the video signal over this RCA connector to the monitor over here. And so all I got to do using this handy dandy cable they sent with it 
All I have to do is plug this on right there to the power, 12 volt power, and this on to the video out. And we'll see it on the monitor. In fact, John's actually going to do it. Okay, so John's got the sky camera in his hands right now. And he's just hey, very low latency. Things. Look at that. Yeah, and low very latency. Very low latency there. See it? Okay, now aim it over there at those at the desk at the uh, yeah right there. That's good. So he's now aiming it across the room. Nice colors. Of course, you probably can't tell from this camera. How about the Look, lights there. Look looking at the, at the screen. Looking at the fish tank lights. Oh yeah, looking at the fish tank lights glowing right now. But yeah, they they come through good. That has good it's color. Got good light adjustment too. So now, what do you what do you think about the angle on it? Wide angle lens for sure, right? Two point yeah. eight. Looks like it. Yeah. So he's just holding it over there towards that wall. Hold look it under. You look let's at hold me. it down in this dark part underneath the bench. See now that's uh, now went the grayscale. See, it automatically switched to grayscale, but you can still see. It's very fast and switch over fix, too. See. Yeah, in the dark, it switches immediately to grayscale, and you can see even in the dark with it. Let's just turn this light off for a second. Okay, now aim it down there at this box down here. Yeah, look at that. Now that's basically in the dark. On if I look at the monitor, you can see it, but if I aim like this camera at it, it looks it just looks pretty dark down in there. So. Yeah, that camera is low lux. Okay, so now we got the PZ 420H. 0420H. John's got it in his hand. Just what I'm trying to follow his hand. Where is it? There it is. Okay, he's going in and out. This one has more detail than the other one. You notice that? See that? Yeah, and you'd think because it's the 600 line, it wouldn't be as detailed, would you? The other one was a 650 line. But it looks really sharp. Like I say, this camcorder doesn't do it justice because I'm looking at a TV monitor. And uh, so it's going to be different than what I see with my eyes. But yeah, now he's looking over here. The color so, isn't as good though, you see that? Yeah, the color might, and it might be in the menu adjustments, but the color isn't quite as vibrant as the other. But, you know, we might have to adjust that in the menus. But it looks okay. Now let's let's take it down in the dark. See what this one does in the dark. Thought saw go green for a second. You see that? It looks like it's more sensitive in the dark than uh, than the sky camera. Get a little more, more flicker when it changes, but yeah. Now he's looking at his face. I can still see that. Oh, he can see right inside his mouth. Oh my my my! Well, <laughs> at least we know it works in the dark. See, he's going down here, and this is what it looks like on the monitor. That's looking at the monitor. Okay. All right, wait, wait, wait! One more test. You didn't test the high light test. High, blinding light test. Okay, what are you gonna do? Oh yeah. Oh, uh, that and dark. Oh, it adjusted down, so see. you can see the light bulb. See yeah. how dark it got though? Yeah, it adjusted for it. It's got good. Adjusted too much though, didn't it? That's dynamic range, right? Yeah. It's got good dynamic range. That's probably why that one works so good at night. Because it can go from bright to dark, work pretty good. All right, so that's that. Very good. So that was a not so quick overview of the two Runcam cameras that are on their website, and uh, they were about forty dollars a piece in that range and they came pretty quickly through the mail. Thanks for watching. Leave comments under the video and don't forget to subscribe.